Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take your fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the star card with the lovers. We have a star-crossed lover situation here. So this connection might have seemed impossible here. There's an undeniable uh, bond, okay, that might have felt very unbreakable as well. No matter how much distance between you two, you could sense each other. You can feel each other here. Unresolved wounds, soul imprints, okay, karmic patterns affecting the situation with telepathy. This connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic bond, yeah. Uh, even uh, telepathic uh, messages possibly going through uh, to both of you here. Overall energy, emperor. This is about taking control, standing up uh, for what you believe in, as well as making things happen, okay, in all aspects, of uh, building a foundation of their life or your life here. So let's see what's going on here in regards to your energy this week. Pisces. Thank you. We have three of wands, temperance, nine of swords. So it seems like you've waited for some things to happen that you kind of invested in for a while here. This can be in regards to anything in your home situation. You've been waiting for your ships to come in for a while, but it looks like as long as you keep steady and uh, keep your wits about you, stay balanced here, it's on its way, okay? I do see in regards to your person, you know, they've had to made you wait in this situation for so long. You feel like you don't understand uh, what their issue was here. It caused a lot of stress and anxiety here in the Nine of Swords. And you just couldn't quite figure out, you know, what is the problem is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their energy here. I just heard I was always biding my time. Okay, so Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. So this person realizes they left this connection at a stalemate position. So they've not made a decision at all. They kind of left this in limbo and left you hanging without any information here. So this person also wants to come forward and give an apology here. There's some recognizing aspects that they've done here where they feel like they need to own up to some things, okay, that they weren't quite honest with you about. Uh, I do see that they they're viewing you possibly in the public eye here. You really are shining like a star this week. They see you're getting a lot of attention for some of you too, and it's making their heart kind of break. Okay, it's not sitting well with them this week uh, that they're able to see you like this and they can't have anything to do with you. So they're kind of in a, in a rut here, a stuck position. Tell me the two of swords, please. Queen, or I'm sorry, king of cups, eight of wands. Yeah, their heart's melting for you here. I mean, there's a lot of butterflies. They're thinking about you constantly and it's really starting to overwhelm them. They feel like they did this to themselves and they feel like they don't even have a shot to come talk to you here. If they're dying to do that, but they feel like right now uh, the best decision is not to make one. Okay, so let's see what has gone on in the past here. Pisces. We have Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups. So in the past... Things were pretty rocky all over the place. It seemed like there was no direction in which this connection was headed. Uh, also, a lot of uh, illusions put in front of you. They made you believe things that uh, weren't really there, uh, making you feel as though they really cared about you, but not putting any action behind it. And there was a lot of challenges as well in this connection, was keeping you to both worlds apart, basically. And Chariot uh, card here, the focus was all other places. Instead of making this their main focus, they were focused on many other things that they had to keep going or, or were responsible for, okay? Tell me the Seven of Cups. 
moon. Yeah, a lot of illusion. I uh, felt like they were very deceptive here towards you as well. As well as making you feel uh, almost like you had to fantasize about, you know, what the reality was in the future. And all you could see in front of you was what your reality was, which it seemed like it was always impossible for you two to be together. So whatever it was in your situation keeping you two worlds apart uh, is what I'm seeing was the frustrating aspect here. Tell me about the chariot. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and it didn't help that this person constantly uh, rejected you or they just didn't contact you here a lot. Uh, also abandoning you at times. You felt like this person was just not caring about this connection even though you knew that they felt the same way that this was an unbreakable bond this could be a soulmate or possible twin flame situation uh it seems like the beginning of it if it's a twin flame uh where there's been separation here so it seems like it just doesn't make sense to you right things just don't add up you felt like you went through a lot of stress and anxiety and not really getting any answers. You couldn't understand why they were really playing with you here, uh, especially if they didn't make this connection a priority, especially since the beginning, they made you feel like uh, this was, you know, an amazing uh, find. Like you both were each other's person in this life. You're both made to walk this world together. So it became quite shocking to you uh, what was going on in this person's head, basically. So let's see what the challenge was here. We have Queen of Swords, the Tower, and the Queen of Cups. If you have cancer in your charts or you're dealing with a cancer, you might want to check out that reading because this looks like a, the different point of view from that. Um, this could have been with a third party okay there could be two people in the mix it doesn't have to be but there's two different aspects nevertheless so if it's not that it made you feel like you had to be in two different head spaces here okay one always loving and emotional when they come back or give them anything that they needed at the time but at the same time keep your boundaries up make sure that they don't take advantage of you they don't hurt your feelings they don't break your heart here so it's really a delicate uh, balance that you had to keep just for yourself to stay sane so it was really hard because you wanted to detach and let go and i see in the current moment you are but this person was very attached to you too. It's an unbreakable bond and it seemed like, well, then why did we meet at this time in our life, right? There's, an, there's a question here that both of you kind of looked at and went, this is kind of unfair here. Okay, so tell me about this tower. Hanged man, two of cups, yeah. So we have something on unexpected unexpected here that happened in someone's environments okay a new perspective was seen as well as having to take down whatever barrier was uh keeping this connection from actually being successful had to be kind of swept away only the thing is is that this person chose to kind of separate they chose to detach here even though they knew full well that they would come back they didn't really give you uh, any information or if they were even leaving. They just detached and uh, went no contact here. Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take here. We have Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. This person is dying to come open up emotionally to you. Um, they're having a tough time in the current moment, uh, thinking that it's just not the right time to make this decision, but they're in the Ten of Wands and they can only be in this for so long till they have this new beginning. They drop those wands down and take action on the idea that they have to really express themselves here because they can't control themselves. Okay, so... We're going to see if this reading is uh, resonating with you in the extended. We're going to find out exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you when they come forward, as well as timing and outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.